Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Shane Edinger. And I'm Hillary Whittier. We're learning more information about the mother and son found dead inside a Kennewick apartment last Friday. Bryant Madrick is the only reporter who's spoken with the husband and father of those killed last week. Bryant. Shane living day after day with a child who's diagnosed with a disability is not easy. Friends and family of Ruth Mertz describe her as a loving mother who did all she could, but say it pushed her over the edge. Today, her husband talked with me about her and their son, Jason. Her ultimate goal was to make him happy. The last and for 28 years, away. family and friends say Ruth Mertz did all she could to make sure her son, Jason, had what every mother hopes for their child, success. She was very upset over his unhappiness and that hurt her a lot. Um, and she had trouble coming to grips with that, that he was so unhappy. Jason Mertz was diagnosed with Asperger syndrome as a child. It's a form of autism where people have difficulty socializing. The challenges included finding and keeping a job as well as making friends. Burnt out, his mom Ruth visited Jason at his Kennewick apartment and the coroner says she shot him twice in the head while he was sleeping and then shot herself. With his wife and son gone, Dave Mertz is still in shock. I'm very uh, confused, I guess. I mean, I realize that uh, she was getting worn, she was worn out with this. Because this was not a woman that would ever hurt anyone. So she was pushed to the breaking point? I, th I, am, I believe that that's what had to have happened. For years, Ruth helped her friend Joyce Itaro with a restaurant, sharing everything from love of good food to music. Joyce is wondering if there's more she could have done. I loved her dearly, and I can't, sorry. We talked about her problems, but they, but she never ever really revealed the pain that she had to have been feeling. Dave Mertz tells me he's not angry at his wife. He says he's disappointed with her decision, and at some point the full impact of what happened Friday will take effect. In the studio, Bryant Madrick, NBC, right now.